We got our national anthem and our starting lineups are in for the Zebras. Clevenger, Strasser, Doran, Bullinger, Hunter, and Wilson. And then for your Pioneer Panthers, Adinger, Borges, Grigsby, Rogers, Nyes, Hauser. And the uh, libero for Pioneer is going to be Adeline Kripe. No libero tonight for Rochester. And a big surprise for Rochester with Braylon Hunter in the starting lineup. Another freshman. Braylon got a little bit of action at the very end of the varsity match against Plymouth. She's in there right away tonight. Again with Lily let out. Uh, here's a real chance for Braylon to show what she can do. And no Mia Houdeshell in the lineup. And no Ella Hake in the lineup either. All right, Coach so, Strasser shaking things up a yeah. little bit. Some due to injury, some maybe uh, just things that she maybe saw in wants practice. To, wants to see some things, yeah. yeah. Again, you know, Coach Strasser's call, again, she's very worried about Pioneer attacking the middle of the court. That She calls it the no man's land, mm -hmm. and she she wants that area covered. And then the serve receive has just got to be better. I mean, it has just not been good, and I've you know, all volleyball coaches are always, they never think their serve receive is as good as it could be or as good as they want it. But I think that's been especially an issue. I think the volleyball coaches in general just are never happy with anything, right? Yeah. I mean, they, they always want more, which I guess is why you're a good coach if you're a good coach. And all of a sudden, Ava Bisi's on the floor for Pioneer. So we're ready to go. Aubrey Wilson to serve for Rochester. She's first in the service order, and she goes deep middle to BC. Rogers, and going from the opposite is Blair Grigsby. Kill one nothing Pioneer. Again, Pioneer runs a two setter system, and they will attack more from the from the opposite than just about any team you'll see. In other words, from the right, mm -hmm. from the right side of the court, which is a tough shot, but they. Again, Coach Nyes, with the way they develop their players, they always have people who can do it. Clevenger, Wilson, and Audrey Bollinger will hit wide. Audrey kind of pats her chest, says, my bad, but it's 2-0 Pioneer. Pioneer won the JV matchup, two sets to zero, 25-15, 25-12 for the Panthers. And an ace by Grigsby. 
Good start to the match here for Blair Grigsby. She has a kill and then uh, two very good serves. It's 3 nothing here for the Panthers. Yeah, and you could tell that Coach Nyes was really trying to uh, – was really talking to her at the tournament the other day, just trying to get her to loosen up and have, have some fun out there. It's a good start for Blair. Tipped by Attinger, and she puts it down. 4 nothing Pioneer. You know, that's one of the things, too, that – comes with the fact that you have so much riding on this season. You know, everybody's been talking about this Panther team, you know, this year, this year, and that's a lot of pressure for a 17, 18-year-old kid to, to deal with. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's another thing that they've got to just kind of work through and, and like you said, just kind of play the game. They know how to do it. Yeah. And Grigsby's just playing very well. 5 nothing. Doran with a shank. Bollinger, Strasser will get it over. Surprised Rogers. they didn't call Doran on that one. Yeah. Borges into the net, and Rochester has their first point. Okay, I have it at 5-1. That's one what I've got. One? No, I've got 5-1. Okay, so. Five and I didn't see anything get re removed that uh, should be uh, changing the score or anything. Logan Honkop now in for Rochester. That's her varsity debut. And that was knocked out. Was that was it nice? I didn't see you knock that one out. But it was a point for Rochester. Yeah, it was a bad set that time by the Panthers. Good serve by Logan Honkamp. She's right in there and in second in the service order. Gorgeous. Good dig by Clevenger. Wilson sets up Doran. Block. Bowling run one. Deep Rogers. Grigsby. Kylie Attinger out of the middle. 6-2 Pioneer. You know, Kylie Adinger, we didn't really talk a whole lot about her. She's yeah. just uh, one of those kids that just has grinded her way through yeah. uh, and just improved in everything over the last four years. I mean, she's just a, a great athlete. and She's steady. Yeah. And she steadily gets better every year. She always finds mm -hmm. something to yeah. improve in, whether it's on the volleyball floor or on the basketball court. Rogers. Uh, I have it. Seven to two. Well, Coach Strasser said she wanted to get Logan Honkamp some, some playing time and it took her no time at all to get into the varsity match. Adeline Kripe to serve. Clevenger. Right to Wilson. Bollinger. And that was misplayed. Yeah, that one's going to go out, I think. Newbie couldn't handle it. So a point for Rochester, 7-3. to three. Set up by a nice pass by Riley Clevenger there. Three serving seven. Okay, Clevenger is out. Doran, Strasser, and Hake on the front line. So Ella Hake now in there. Rogers, Grigsby, Attinger off the block. 8 3 Pioneer. Well, if you're on the bench for this Rochester team, you better be ready because it looks like Coach Strasser is going to be rotating that uh, that group around. Hong Kong, Wilson, Cake. Grigsby from center field. Nice. Sets up Rogers off the block. 9-3, Pioneer. And that's a good sign. Dean the ball outside. And the block isn't as... Formidable. Doran with the pass. Wilson in the back. Bollinger. Dug out by Kripe. Tenise. Rogers with a tip. Doran. Wilson. Shoveled over free ball by Hake. And you're out of the middle. 10 to 3. And Pioneer. They run a lot of offense out of the opposite, and they run a lot of offense out of the middle. They've been tremendous at that. Kirsten Nyes to serve. Doran, Honkamp, Hake into the net. 11-3. Timeout, Rochester. They're first. All right, we'll take a quick break here with them as well and come back with more here from the Palace at Pioneer High School. 22-20 in the fifth set. Rochester won. 
It went over two hours, and that is an ace. That serve by Kirsten Nyes was moving all over the place. Yeah. You know, obviously Kirsten, she's the one junior basically in the starting lineup, but uh, she has probably as much or more experience on the volleyball court than anybody on the floor tonight. Mm -hmm. Dorn with the pass. Wilson setting up Paik. Grigsby. Nyes. Nice attack by Cameron Newby, 13-3. I have a final score to report, Steve. Caston has defeated Carroll at Carroll tonight. 25-12, 25-12, 25-11. Okay. Lady Comets are 3-0. They host Culver on Thursday, and we'll have that one right here on RTC TV 4. Nyes, Attinger in the corner, yep and down. 14-3. Boy, that's not an easy shot. Kylie Attinger just made it look easy to hit the ball out of the middle of the deep corner like that. Maddie Sailors, when she played for Rochester, she had that shot down, but it took a while. Like she was in that 22-20 match that I just mentioned. Mm -hmm. Wilson tries a dump. Kripe winds up hitting it over. Strasser with a lefty swing. Kripe, nice, lefty tip by Rogers, but Wilson is there to fill the hole. Hake, nice dig, Grigsby. Nice to Rogers, nice dig by Honkamp. Strasser over on two. Grigsby. Attinger with a tip, covered by Doran. Hake out of the middle. Blocked by Attinger. Floated over in a beautiful, kind of a roll shot by Keaton Doran. 14 to 4. Yeah, that was a long point there. That was a big win for the Zebras getting that point off of that uh, long play there. Mia yeah, Hadashal now in there. Grigsby, Nyes. Uh, that, that shot is just about unstoppable when she's on by Mackenzie Rogers. 15 to four. She's just got such quick hops and such an accurate hard shot. I mean, how do you, how do you defend that? Edinger, Honkamp, nice pass, out of shell. To Wilson, stuck down. That was Rogers. Okay, so now we've got Hadashell and Wilson on the court at the same time. So I would imagine they want Aubrey to take some swings here. Wilson, Honkamp, back to Wilson. Attinger, big swing by Rogers. Honkamp can't keep it up. 17 to 4. Boy, Pioneer's just playing clean volleyball. And that they're just not doing anything to give Rochester any hope. Attinger, jump serve, on comp. Go over on one. Oh, that'll be a lift. Newby mistimed her jump. It's a point for Rochester. Now five serving 17. There's Dara Strasser. Kreit, Nyes. They handle the Grigsby attack. Nice job by Kreit to run that down. Nyes almost runs into Newby. Grigsby. Eighteen to five. Mackenzie Ruth Rogers to serve. Nice dig. That was Hunter. They work a give and go. Hunter taken on the back row by Nyes. Rogers. Gorgeous. It's going long. Eighteen to six. Clevenger back in there. And with Bollinger, Hunter, and Wilson in the front row. 
Rodgers to set up. Board just with a line shot, and it was down. Well, Ron Nyes talked about that against Cast, and he goes, they were giving us line, we were going angle. We need to go line. Yeah. And, you know, Madison Blickenstaff, she was just the greatest at that. Haley, Haley Kripe was awesome at that as well as the serve goes long by Beasy, 19-7. BC, Rogers, Nyes, it goes in. Kind of straddled the net, and I I wasn't sure if a Rochester player got a fingertip on it. I, I think that's what happened and landed out, but I think a Rochester player touched it. Grigsby to serve at 20-7. to seven. Jump serve. Clevenger to Bollinger, out of system. Doran keeps it in play. BC, Nyes, Rogers, Clevenger. Braylon Hunter. Grigsby digs it out, and that might have gone long. Nice. Nice dig by Wilson. She had to move back to get her, get under it. Grigsby, Rogers, Borges, put it down. Whoa. Twenty-one-seven. So Cast uh, knows Culver on Thursday. Culver's opening their season tonight against Oregon Davis. We're looking for a score for that one. That's an ace. Yep. A slider over the outside corner by Blair Grigsby. That was a nifty serve. A clean ace, 22 to seven. Three straight points for Pioneer. Dig by Strasser. Wilson, Bollinger into the net. Twenty-three-seven Plymouth. Timeout. Rochester, their last. So the uh, Zebras take a break here. We'll be right welcome now. back here. Twenty-three-seven in set number one in favor of the Pioneer Panthers here at the Palace and Val. You know. Uh, some things uh, for the Rochester Zebras, they're, they're going to have some of these moments. They're going to have some of these matches. So they just got to keep their head up and, and really figure out a way to work through some of these growing pains that they're probably going to see a little bit here throughout this match. Right. Wilson Hunter. Oh, pretty shot by Braylon Hunter. And nice play out of the timeout there for the Zebras picking up the point. Logan Honkow back in. She'll be serving. Lefty serve. Nice serve. Nice serve. That was. I mean, just the visual of the Rochester team versus the the Pioneer team. I mean, they look they look very young here on the, the yeah. Rochester side. And You're right. You know, imagine coming in here to, to Pioneer in your second match of your career in high school and playing this Panther team, and they're. They're doing some things here, though. Three points in a row coming out of that timeout for the Zebras. Sadinger misses wide right. Going angle. 10-23, Honkamp. Another really good serve. That is an ace for Logan Honkamp. I need to, I need, I need to come up with something, Steve. <laughs> uh... Honkamp, honey, I'm not, well, I'll, I'll figure something out. Yeah, it's like don't do math on air. <laughs> don't don't figure yeah. out your puns on air. <laughs> right. <laughs> wait wait until uh, wait until the uh, in between matches or something there to work on your pun game, Val. Borges with goes down the opposite line. Better yet, wait till Friday when you're with Randy and then you can work on your puns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kripe serving at set point. Clevenger. Wilson back set. Bollinger. Oh what a play! What a dig by Nyes. Wilson to Doran. Dug it out there by BC. 
Is that in? Yes. Rogers. Pioneer beats Rochester 25-11. Clevenger's been helping out. And she's on the bench, too, as kind of a volunteer assistant. Got a lot of, got a lot of volleyball knowledge on that Rochester bench. And, uh, you know, they've all kind of coached together at the middle school. And now they're all together in the varsity. I think this is the kids are listening, no doubt. Yeah. Back row Grigsby, she almost ran into Rogers. She and Rogers are kind of laughing about it. Hunter with a swing. And is this going to get over? No. Rochester leads 1-0. The valiant effort there by Borges just, just uh, yeah. going away from the net and too far back for yeah. her to get that one back you across. Know, it's always a sign that you've got a young player who's a little nervous out there is when they kind of massage the ball over the net instead of really just swinging away. Mm -hmm. Braylon Hunter, has got it. I think she's got more velocity in that arm than she showed, but she, it, she'll find it as that ball goes long by Borges, 2-0 Rochester. Am I am – I, do I have a point there? Am I? No, I agree I mean, with you, yeah. Ella Haig, too. I mean, the kids that talk about, boy, you should see Ella in practice. And, uh, boy, not a good pass and then not a good dig after that. And it's 3 nothing Rochester after the service winner by Wilson. And the uh, Panthers looking a little tentative coming out of the uh, gate here in set number two. Aubrey to Rogers. It was a little tight. That wasn't the Strasser, greatest pass, no. Strasser able to handle it. Doran. Newby. Grigsby. Good dig by Clevenger. Strasser's got a shovel. That's tight, and it goes over, and they win the point. That was a little. That was a, one of those overpasses that you just got uh, kind of lucky yeah, on. Yeah, that's not how they drew it up, but Pioneer gets the point. It's one of those a lot of times you get a, a spike right back in your face when you overpass it like that. Yeah. Borges. Doran. Wilson. And then she can't connect with Hunter. 3-2 now. Wilson not able to get a real good set on that one and not much that Hunter yeah. could do. And what I like about Aubrey Wilson is she got a lot of variety to her game, which a lot, not a lot of freshman setters have that. That's why you don't see a lot of freshman setters, period. Right. Nice back set right there by Wilson. Close to a lift, yeah. But Audrey Bollinger with the kill. 4-2 Rochester. Got the young uh, Argus team playing the Goshen Blue Blazers tonight. Culver and OD are doing battle. Typical New Valley at uh, Wawa C tonight. I think, no, it's actually at it's the Valley. At home, yeah. 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 And that is a kill by Attinger out of the middle. 4-3. Got some big tournaments this weekend. The Tomahawk Invitational is in North Miami this Saturday. And how will the Cast and Lady Comets fare at that tournament? Right. Rochester will be there and Winnemac will be there. Pioneer going to Franklin Central for their tournament on Saturday. That's an overpass and that is a kill. I can see if that was Adinger or Roger. I think it was Rogers. That or was uh, Adinger. Adinger, four all. Nice to serve. That's an ace. Got to give the umpire crew a, a shout out here tonight. This is a, a veteran crew here, Jerry Newman and Casey Carswell, and they they have done yeah. basketball games, volleyball. I mean, you name it, and they've been doing it for a long time at a high level. Yeah, I saw them at Argus the other day. They worked at Valley Argus match. Hong Kong. Strasser. Doran. Dug out of there by Rogers. Nice. Little row shot by Mackenzie Hauser. She's number 11 in black. Three balled over by Clevenger. Nice. Some offense out of the middle from Ettinger. Good dig. Good block, Bollinger. But nice. Now free balled over by Rogers. Clevenger, Wilson. Oh. So much hard work to lose it on that. Kripe had that nice stab dig with a uh, save there and kept it alive for the Panthers. 6-4, Pioneer. Nice. Into the net. 6-5 now.
KC does a lot of uh, softball as well. I don't know that Jerry, I don't remember seeing her do any softball. Yeah. Does she do softball? Yeah, I know Ms. Carswell, she was the softball coach at Plymouth for a, a year or two. Yeah. Oh, that's yep. going to be a lift. Yeah. A lift on Hake. 7-5, Pioneer. one of those that is kind of like a, you know, what do you do with it? It just kind of landed in her little lap. Right. Right. When a, when a player gets called for a lift, like 95 times out of 100, it's not on the lifter. It's more on how the ball wound up in her lap anyway. Attinger. Bollinger with a pass. Doran. Nice. Not a great dig. Well, they work a give and go, and beautiful shot by Nyes down the line. Good job by Rogers getting back there and uh, really putting up a nice ball for Kirsten to send home. I think Kirsten Nyes, I mean, not that, not that she was somebody like we had never heard of before. I think she's due for, or she's in for a big year this year. I, I really liked the way she played at Caston the other day. Strasser, Kripe with a dig. Nyes to Grigsby, off the block. Rochester can't control it. That was a good block by Hake. She kept it up, but it's 9-5 Pioneer. Kylie Edinger, pop up, Honkamp, over on one. And handling the overpass and getting the kill is Mackenzie Rogers, 10-5, Pioneer. Attinger, Doran, Bollinger, Strasser with the free ball, what a shot, <laughs> what a shot. And then how Rochester drew it up. Emma Sells now in for Pioneer. Mia yeah, Hadashaw now in for Rochester. You got Wilson, Hake, and Strasser on the front row. Hong Kong Bollinger and Hadashaw in the back. Got a line Kripe. And they run some offense out of the middle with Mackenzie Hauser, 11 to 6. Hauser listed at 5'11. Yeah, just a sophomore. You know, if you're a sophomore and you're on the varsity floor for this team, you're you're doing something right. Ella Hake hits one to no man's land. 7-11. Hunter in for Honkamp. Strasser to serve. I think Hauser got a pretty good amount of playing time last year, too, as a freshman. So she's got some definite uh, volleyball ability. Gorgeous from the opposite, 12-7. Hauser. Bollinger, Hunter. Bollinger from the back row. Again, that's not how you drew it up, but. I mean, the, the passes are, well, they're there, but I wouldn't say they're crisp passes. But effective. Eight. Serving 12, Riley Clevenger. And the ace. Oh boy, now I got another, I gotta think of another one. <laughs> Make a list and we'll work on that one for the next match. Nice, blocked by Bollinger. Another block by Bollinger and that is gonna be a point for Rochester's Pioneers called for a lift. Zippers hanging in here in set two to have it back to within two. Clevenger. A little floater. Rogers. They were able to defend Grigsby there. Off the block and down by Brooklyn Borges, 13 to 10.
Blair Grigsby to serve. Good serve. Clevenger out of shot with the dump. I'm, uh, she almost had to dump it. Borges. Bollinger got a hand. Wilson gets a hand. Can they run it down? Nope. Fourteen ten. Grigsby dug it out there by Clevenger. Good serve, and that's going to be a service winner for Blair Grigsby. But that serve had heat and movement on it. Yeah. Fifteen ten. A float. Wilson, how to shell? Aubrey with a swing. Locked back by Attinger. Dug it out there nicely by Braylon Hunter. Bollinger, Grigsby, Borges with a swing, be Clevenger, wide, 16-10 Pioneer. You know, I think that's one of the things that you can look at on these coach, uh, Rod Nye's coached volleyball teams is they've always got a quality service game, and if you're going to be serving for the Panthers, you've got to yeah. be able to, to hit your spots and hit the speeds that you want on certain shots. Nice dig by Hadeshell. Can they get it over? No. That was Attinger. 17-10. Five straight here for the Panthers after Rochester had closed back to within two, 12 to 10. So Grigsby taking over yeah, here. The last the four or five points, Rochester's just been running all over Royal Center trying to run the ball down, and that's just not that's not fun after a while, I would imagine. Hadeshell with a free ball. Rogers to Nyes, dug out of there by Clevenger. That was a great dig by Riley because that was a big hit by Kirsten. Good block. And stuffed back by Aubrey Bollinger. Great block there by Bollinger. Playing a team like Pioneer will help Rochester prepare if they run into, say, a team like South Adams on Saturday. I know South Adams goes to that Tomahawk tournament as well. How many teams are there? 12 usually. 12, okay. Gorgeous. Another oh, stuff, by the way. Bollinger putting the long arm of the law out here for the Zebras. Couple big stuffs. Yeah, I joke, with, I joke with Audrey. She knows where the opponent's hitting the ball before they do sometimes. Wilson? Good serve. That's an ace. Okay, I've got one for that. Wilson, the volleyball. Little castaway reference. <laughs> 13 keep, 17. Keep, keep working. Okay. Oh. The Val Jinx. Eighteen thirteen Pioneer. Brooklyn Board just to serve. Strasser almost back to the baseline. Wilson. Oh, great shot by Bollinger. And they can't run it down. Because in that moment, Audrey was just looking at blockers. And not only did she get it over the, over the block, but she placed it perfectly. Yeah. 14-18, Hong Kong. Good pass, not a great pass. Dug it out there by Doran. Wilson. Strasser gets it over, but that was tight. That was a tough angle. Adinger off the block of Bollinger. Clevenger, Wilson. Stuffed back by Kylie Adinger. Zebras kept with that one, though. They did a nice job, and Adinger, though, in the end, was able to put that one down. Nice jump serve. Clevenger almost had to pancake that one. That was going down fast. And Bollinger hits it long. 20 to 14, Pioneer. Audrey not able to get on top of that one, get it uh, down in time. Yeah. That's probably, you know, as, as good a player as Aubrey, she hasn't had to play all six rotations before, and those are shots she's going to work on and get better at as the season goes on. Float. Strasser runs it down. He'll have to run a give and go. Derry gets it over. Grigsby in center field. Nice. Rogers. 
into the net. Fifteen twenty. Audrey Bowling to serve. Good serve, and that's going to be a service winner. Twenty to sixteen. It was so nice to see Shauna Fagan the other night, the Plymouth coach, mm -hmm. twenty thirteen Rochester grad, first match as a, as a varsity coach, and it was against her alma mater. Right, and. Uh, Into the net. That'll be four. Yep. Rogers can't get it. So 20 to 17. Timeout Pioneer. Yeah, forcing Coach Nyes to take a timeout here with uh, Rochester getting the back within three. So we'll take a break here and be back in just a moment on RTC TV4. And Audrey Bollinger is starting to kind of exert her will on this match. 17 20. We're going to give and go. Rogers. In 21 17. Nice shot by Rogers. Now Shauna, well, she was Shauna Ellinger back when she was in high school. She's Shauna Fagan now. And, you know, when, when she played for Aaron Cash, and Aaron would, you know, she would high five everybody in the bench after an ace. And now Shauna does that at Plymouth. Mm. An ace for Kylie Adinger. Panthers would be getting a high five on that one as Adinger makes it 22-17. And you know, Shauna was just 10 years ago when she graduated, you would have said, yeah, she could, I could see her becoming a coach. And in fact, she has. Got a young team at Plymouth, no seniors. No seniors at all? No seniors at Plymouth, believe it or not. Hake, that's got to go over. It doesn't. That's four. 23-17. So, of course, they had a you know one of their better players they've had in a while, Taylor Delp, graduate last year. So that's obviously going to be some big shoes for the Pilgrims to fill. 23-17. Emma Sell serving. That's tight, and it's another service winner for Emma Sells. Timeout, Rochester. Panthers. Hong Kong back in. Wilson. Hake, whiffs on it, and that's the set. Pioneer beats Rochester, 25-17 in set two. All right, we'll take a break here and come back and get ready for set number three here from Pioneer High School in just a moment on RTC TV4. Busy week for the Lady Dragons, and they got Plymouth on Thursday, and that Plymouth has kind of had Coach Stone's team's number over the past couple years. Pretty young Argus team. I'm curious to see how they come out of the gates. How about the Culver, how about the Culver girls soccer team? Nine to one over Tippecanoe Valley last night. Boy, Cassidy Banks is back from her knee injury. Three goals, she had a hat trick and Giselle Villegas had four goals. Cripe handles the serve to start set three. Nice. Puts it down in the middle. Blair Grigsby to serve for Pioneer. Clevenger slides in front of Strasser. Three balled over by Hunter. Taking a whack at it is Borges. Nice job by Hunter. Borges tries to go line, but in the net, one off. Winnemag volleyball team at Lewis Cast tonight. Hong Kong to serve. Nice little float. Oh, nice little float. Honka, if you just hit an ace. Getting there. Winnemac went one and two over the weekend at their home tournament. Yeah, very, very good South Central team won that tournament. Oh, really good dig by Clevenger. Wilson off the net. Handled by BC. Nice acrobatic tip. Oh, 
door and couldn't quite control it. What an athletic play by Kirsten Nyes. South Central, I mean, they just continue to reload. I mean, softball and basketball and volleyball, it just seems like uh, their girls' the programs up there have just been great for the last 15, 20 years. 5-0 and in the end season already. Strasser, Honkamp, Strasser. BC. Oh, that's going to be a double. Yep. Point for Rochester on the double. Lady Z's now lead 3-2. Aubrey Bowling in serve. Up Hong Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong put her hands to her face like, oh, I want that one over again. Yeah. But I kind of I kind of like that. I can we call it, is that called spunk? I think she's got some spunk out there. Yeah. So I like the emotion. I mean, yeah. it's, it's good to see, you know, she she wants to do it again. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not sure what Aubrey was trying to do with that one there. I think she was trying to wrap it around and maybe go over, but she was a little farther away from the net than. Yeah. Tried the element of surprise, but it didn't work. Wilson to Doran. Not a great dig by Nyes, and it's going to be free balled over by Rogers. Hake. Wilson back set. Strasser opening. Great dig, Grigsby. Kripe, Rogers. Wilson. Hake. Nyes. Kripe. Oh. Aspen Molinar getting some varsity action, and she. Couldn't handle that one. We did not see Aspen at all at Caston on Saturday, so this is her first varsity action of the young season. Grigsby with the pass, Nyes, Attinger. That was a great pass by Blair Grigsby. That was that was right on it. It could not have been any better. Ali Attinger, Bollinger, and almost grazed her face, I think. Rochester hits it wide on the attack. 6-4, Pioneer. How does Sheldon Wilson Good tip coverage by Nyes. Good attack by Blair Grigsby. Blair's one of those players on this team. I mean, she just does what she needs to do. And yeah. And you're, you're quietly like, wait a minute, I just said Blair's name like four times in a row there. On top over on one. Molinar over on one. Grigsby, on comp, Mia with a dump. Kripe covers it and gets the kill out of it. I think that's why uh, Coach Nyes would draw that one up, but he'll take yeah. it. Yeah, if it, whenever the libero gets a kill, that's <laughs> <laughs> the, it's fair to say that the coach didn't draw it up that way, but that's that was actually a pretty good dump by Mia Hadeshell, just a great job. On comp over on one. Grigsby, Nyes. Rogers, Wilson was there. Oh, Hake gets it over. It started with a nice block, I thought, by Wilson. Strasser, and a little too tight by Bowlinger on the dig. Nine to four. It was a lot of work for Rochester there. Unfortunately, not able to get the point, but some really good stuff. Nine serving four. Attinger off the net and down for an ace. That's the one thing when they changed all the rules around, you know, obviously the, the live scoring and everything, but the when they changed that, that I still think that should be a reserve. Honkop, how to shell, Wilson. Nope. 
Well, some miss hit that one, and it's 11-4 now. The Panthers' seven-point advantage. Ettinger goes long. Sells checks back in for Pioneer. Braylon Hunter back in for Rochester. Dara Strasser about to serve. That was a nice pass by Freight. But Grigsby misses on the attack, 11-6. Big attack, great dig. Bollinger to Wilson, and Hottershell gets it over on three. Boy, that almost looked like a lift, and Rochester can't handle it. Is that Molinar? Yeah. Yeah. It was one of those kind of last-minute decisions there. Worked out well for the Panthers, though. Yeah, that was truly out of system. <laughs> great serve. That was Rodgers with the ace, 13 to 6. Oh, I thought that was going out, but it went in, and <laughs> Audrey Bollinger puts her hand out of her, on her mouth like a, she was a little embarrassed, but that is a nice kill from the back row by Audrey Bollinger. I think that was the right play there by Kirsten because it, it mm. looked at first like it was going to go wide, but I think it would have landed in bounds, so she had to make that play. Seven serving 13. Grigsby has to back up to Rogers. Grigsby out of the middle and wide. 13-8. Clevenger, nice. Brooklyn Borges, nice dig by Strasser, and then a the ding-dong play. Good hit there by Borges, good to see that. I think that's really the first kind of ding-dong play we've seen on either side tonight where, yeah, just a miscommunication. 14 serving eight. I think Rochester will take that because yeah. you're as young as you are. If you can manage just one or two of those, that's pretty good. Rigsby misses. I think this team's going to be all right. They they've got some uh, they got some players here. They're going to put this together. Yeah. Wilson to serve. BC. Rogers back set. Bollinger and Hunter with a nice block. Bollinger, Hunter over on two. And there's a ding dong by Pioneer. Gonna return the favor there a little yeah. bit. And the hunter is the hunted. Yeah. Literally. Wilson to BC. Rogers. Nice dig by Dara Strasser. Nyes there to handle the tip try by Bollinger. Bollinger with a block on Borges. Say that five times real fast. Clevenger, Wilson, Braylon Hunter. That was tight. Knocked back over by Borges. Doran off the block and down. Is that Grigsby? Is that Grigsby or Borges? I think it was Grigsby. Stuff. Yeah, that was Blair. 15-10. The teams have both of their timeouts left. Clevenger, Wilson, Bollinger. Rogers, nice play. But that was a really nice play by Rogers and a really nice play by Nyes to finish it off. On two. That just Kirsten Nyes with just crazy hops. Oh yeah. 16-10. Grigsby, win a whistle. Rotation error, point Rochester. She doesn't high jump 5-2 because she can't get off the ground, Val. Yeah. <laughs> so 
So we have not seen Sophia Kuskusekis tonight. We have, I do not even see her. Is she in the building? I don't know. Uh, play JV. Play JV, okay. Yeah. And Jermissus, 16-12. Yeah, she's sitting over with the JV girls. Okay. Wet spot on the court. That was better than in the JV contest. They hit a ball down into the uh, Pioneer student section and apparently got into some uh, nachos and cheese. <laughs> so they had a cheese ball. Needless to say, they took that ball out of rotation for a little bit. Hong Kong. Oh, another good serve. And it leads to Keaton Doran with the kill on the overpass. Just like that, ah, Rochester back to within three here in set number three. On comp. Ooh, just long. You know, you got Strasser and Hong Kong both uh, hit from the left side there. That kind of affects the spin on the ball when you aren't used to that ball coming in that way. Strasser. Wilson. Ooh, and that was not an easy set. Bollinger gets it over. Rogers. Oh, great block by Bollinger, but Pioneer recovers. And then that's put on the baseline. Is that Wilson or Bollinger? 17-14. Wilson. What a yeah, what a play by Wilson. That was just some quick reaction there. Grigsby, Adinger, dug out of there by Hong Kong. Can Strasser run it down? Yep. Hake. Nice. And Kirsten Nice showing her athletic ability, and she has some hops. Yeah, I mean, nice job by Rochester having to go out of system and make something happen. I mean, they, they forced Pioneer to had another shot. It was just a... That another shot was just a tremendous shot by Kirsten Nyes, 18-14. Doran, Wilson, Hake, it's going to go long. 19-14. Linnea Strasser has both of her timeouts left. She's, she's going to use one pretty soon here. Bollinger over on one. We're going to give and go, and that's Rogers. as Hong Kong couldn't handle it. 20 to 14. Linnea Strasser has talked a lot about being in a defensive posture. Defensive stance. They spent a lot of time in those first two weeks of practice on that. Adinger with the block, and then that's going to be mishandled. This is the best Ella, version of Ella Hake we have seen so far this year. Fifteen twenty. How does Shell serving? Rogers puts it down. Twenty-one fifteen. Franklin Central tournaments usually loaded with indie indie area school teams, four A's, yeah, and private school teams. We're going to see the varsity debut of Lois Layer, <laughs> five-two freshman. If she looks familiar, she's a cousin to Adeline Kripe. That's why she looks like Adeline. Bollinger, Hake, Bollinger, what a shot! And what a dig by Lois Layer. Hong Kong. It's wide. Oh, well, great debut there for Lois Layer. Gets the uh, great dig, and Coach Strasser is going to take that timeout. 
her first, so she still has one left. So we'll take a break here with them. Serving for the Panthers. Wilson, out of shell. From the back, Bollinger to Layer. Nice. Rigsby, good dig by Honkamp. And that's off the antenna by Strasser. Point Pioneer. It's 23-15. Layer. Hunk, hunk. Out of shell to Wilson. Dug out by Nyes. Oh, what a shot by Rogers. Set and match point here for the Panthers. As Lois Lair looks to close things out here in set number three. Dug out by Bollinger, and that is going to be over the line, and this match is over. It ends on a line violation. That pass was too tight. Panthers win three sets, 25-11, 25-17, 25-15. To advance their record to two and one on the season, the Zebras drop to zero oh and two on the young season. And we'll take a break here as Val gets his uh, stats all put together. And come back.